For this week's request, essentially you have to hire a scout, heavy supply, and medic specialist. So these are the four new specialist NPCs in the game. And they're going to be scattered all around the map. So these are their locations right here. There's one right there, one right here, one right here, and one right over here. So just simply visit those locations. You'll find the NPC and you just simply interact with them and click hire. I think it costs 250 gold to hire an NPC. So make sure you have at least a thousand gold on you. So these are the corresponding NPCs as you can see. So there's, this is the one at Breakwater Bay. This is the one uh, next to Lonely Labs. This is the one right here on top of the uh, snow biome. And finally, this is the one at Kinjutsu, uh, at the uh, Steamy Springs, which is the new sludge NPC, which is this guy right here. So yeah, that's all four of them. Basically, just go to all of those NPCs, interact with them, and uh, hire them, and that's your complete quest. It's as simple as that. For this week's request, is that you have to accept a bounty at different tooling circle bounty board locations. So you need to uh, accept two of these bounties at different circles. There's uh, currently like four circles on the map right now. So there's one right here at Steamy Springs, one right here next to Kinjutsu Crossing, Run right over here on top of Naughty Nets and one right over here on top of Mega City. I already made a video on these locations and how to get to them and what you can find in them. Uh, but yeah, we finally have a quest on them. And it's basically, this is like, this is basically a dueling circle as you can see right underneath me. And the idea is that for you to duel somebody using the kinetic blade because each of these circles is going to have what, two kinetic blades like uh, opposite of each other. So we're just going to uh, claim one of these kinetic blades. We're gonna use them for mobility, of course. Here we go. So this is the bounty board, as you can see. So it's. Uh, let me just take a screenshot like this, guys, just for the thumbnail. And we just simply accept the the uh, bounty. So that's one out of two. And you can simply just wait five minutes until this bounty is uh, is ended. And make sure you make it to this location, or this location, or this location. And you're going to find the same thing. You're going to find a dueling circle. You're going to find kinetic blades. And you're going to find a bounty board. Once this bounty has expired, you can go ahead and accept another bounty. And that should quit the quest. It is as simple as that. For this quest, it says you have to capture the PUI on the uh, loot island, which is Loot Lake Island. So as you can see, it spawns right there uh, in the middle of the map, in the middle of the uh, game. It basically spawns randomly, whatever. And when it spawns, you have to make your way as fast as possible to the PUI. And we're going to claim the capture point on top of it. So it should be spawning in a second. So this is the location on the map, as you can see. Here we go. So this is the spot. We just need one of those uh, one of those zip lines. Let me actually take a take a shortcut. Here we are. And now we're gonna claim the PUI. It is not easy by any stretch of the imagination because a lot of people are just gonna try to stop you. So it really isn't gonna be easy at all. So if you're fast, you might be able to get it. And if you if you can like win a fight or two, I like to make a, like a little maze right here, just to confuse people when they show up. Here we go. We have somebody. All right, let's get ready. No. Come on, just get in, dude. Okay, just a few seconds, and we can claim the PUI. If you claim it, you can actually get a legendary, uh, a mythic, actually overclocked AR rifle. Which is super dope. Let me close up. Yeah, there it is. Woo! <laughs> I can't believe I got it, man. So yeah, that's the basic idea. When you do it, you will get these weapons right here, as you can see. And yeah, let's just do that, and that should be the quest. It is as simple as that. For this week three quest, it says you have to recover a combat cache or cache, whatever you want to call it. So basically, it's these uh, uh, these like little like drop boxes that drop in the middle of the game. They look like this. You just have to go to them and interact with them. This is what they look like on the map. So this is the icon for them. And you basically just go to them and interact. As you can see, it says recover cache. I already made a video on this, uh, like when the season started. And basically, just recover it like that. You can stay next to the cache to get the uh, like to get the loot when it pops. I think it takes exactly one minute for the loot to pop up. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just stay near this, like open it, and that should copy the quest. It is as simple as that. For this week's request, it says you have to hit a speed of 86 on a rogue bike. So basically, just make your way to this spot right here. It's the best spot to find a rogue bike. Or, of course, you can go to the mega city and you'll find a bunch of rogue bikes there. And basically, once you make your way here, you'll find a bunch of ro uh, rogue bikes, as you can see. And we're just going to take one of them. And if you don't know, rogue bikes can actually uh, boost like this. And you can easily hit, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm right here at the uh, speed of 86. So all you have to do is just click uh, left shift 
and you can uh, you can like boost so I'm gonna boost again so that's a max of 87 apparently awesome so it's as simple as that just grab yourself a rogue bike click shift to boost and that should be the quest for this week four seasonal quests is that you have to bounce off of uh, tires uh, air vents and lily pads so basically uh, for for the air vents just go to the mega city py right over here and on top of each building or most buildings you're gonna find these air vents that you can go on top of so these are the air vents right here as you can see there's also the main air vent in the middle i don't know if that's gonna work but this one is definitely gonna work right here let me just take a screenshot of this so you can just simply just jump on top of it and then i'm gonna show you the uh the the uh, like tires locations the closest one which is the racetrack here we go so just gonna jump off here we're gonna take the spike and we're gonna go to the racetrack here we are so these are the tires right here and we're just gonna jump on top of them so that's the tires right there and then of course I'm gonna show you the lily pad location so this is the lily pad location as you can see so this is just one of the locations that I found I'm gonna ping the location for you in a second but this is what the lily pad looks like as you can see let me just do this and you can just bounce off of it it's very very simple <laughs> so this is the uh, location right here let me just ping it on the map uh, just go right here to steamy springs to this lake and you'll find the lily pad basically jump on top of it and that should be the quest it's as simple as that for this week four seasonal quests is that you have destroyed 25 structures or objects while on a ground rail so basically you need to go to this py right here the new uh, mega city py and this py is going to have all the grind rails that you're ever going to need so as you can see those are the yellow lines in the uh, in the air and the idea is for you to uh, destroy any object while riding these grind rails and i highly recommend doing this so just come here and go to this npc the stray npc is going to be on top of this building right over here and you're going to want to buy the um the op or the heavy sniper rifle so i'm just going to do that there we go of course make sure you have enough mana oh my god this, this guy is being okay let's just disappear all right so while we are on the grind rail as you can see we are going to use this op to destroy objects and it's very very easy to do when you have this op because it goes through structures I can't believe people are shooting at me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So I'm just gonna slow down. And we're gonna destroy structures. It doesn't really matter which ones. There we go, that's one. Then we're gonna reload. We're gonna destroy more structures. That's two. Of course you're gonna need to uh you're gonna need to gather some ammo and then go back on the grind rails. So make sure you go around, gather some some uh, some ammo. There we go, now we have uh actually don't no, we need more ammo. Let me do open this. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. We have six bullets. Make sure you are always on the ground rail before doing this. Just press E. And then you simply destroy any structure that's on the way. Of course, you can do this with uh, with uh, enemy structures when they when they build. And yeah, you just need uh, uh, basically 25 bullets. And you can do this without really doing anything extra. You don't need to fight anybody. If somebody contests you, you can just run away <laughs> using the grind rails. And as you can see, it's very, very easy. Just do this and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as this. For this week, four seasonal quests, it says you have to assist in defeating the high card boss. So if you don't know, the high card boss appears in this PUI Shadow Slabs or Mega City or Brutal Bastion right after the first zone uh, a circle like closes in. So this zone is going to close in in two seconds and it's going to appear in all three locations. There we go. As you can see, that's the uh, that's the icon, and you just have to go and defeat them or assist in defeating them. You don't really need to kill them all, uh, like uh, uh, to kill him like uh, all at once. So he's all the way over here. Hey there, buddy. He's rather easy to kill, but you need to be very, very fast about it there we go now we kill the henchman and there it is and yeah that's pretty much it just do that and that should complete the quest 
For this week four seasonal quest, it says you have to open a vault with a vault key card. So this is a vault key card right here. You can get this by by defeating the uh, the high card boss. And uh, the boss appears in Shadow Slaps, Mega City, or Brutal Bastion whenever the first cir circle uh, uh, closes in. So as you can see, I defeated the one at Shadow Slaps. There is one over here, and there is one over here. As you can see, you can just follow them. So after you defeat them, you'll get the key card and a mythic, uh, a mythic AR. And of course, we're gonna go and uh, and open the vault. Here we are. We gotta be a little bit fast. Because I do want to get a screenshot of the keycard and the vault together. Just to make a nice thumbnail. Here we go. So, just swipe. And then, uh, let's do this. Let's drop this here. Let's take a screenshot of this. And there we go. So, you just go here and you interact. And there it is. So just do this and the truth complete the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week for seasonal quest, it says you have to deal damage to players with a shotgun from 10 meters or less. So basically you just need to get really really close to someone and shotgun them to the face. So for that we're gonna go to this guy right here. There we go. So that's 80 damage. Make sure you're really close to the player. There we go. And there it is. So just deal damage uh, really, really close to players and the truth with the quest. It's very, very simple. I highly recommend doing this in uh, Team Rumble mode because it's much easier like that. You can just drop on people and just shotgun them to the face and that truth could be the quest. For this week 5 quest, it says you have to jump right on top of a grind rail right from the battle bus. So I just jumped off the battle bus right now. And uh, your first thing to land on should be a grind rail. So these are the grinders right here, as you can see. So it's the yellow lines. You can find them in the uh, mega city. So they're only here. And basically just you need to float all the way on top of one. You can press E to guarantee that you float on it, like you like you land on top of it. Or you can just land like this. There we go. So it is really as simple as that. <laughs> so make sure it is the first thing that you land on and that should go be the quest. For this quest you need to do uh, two like consecutive shots with the new Thunder Spear and you'll also get the new Mikasa Spray. So basically you just need to go right over here to the Citadel and you'll find a, a, uh, a new like foot locker chest inside. So there's the chest right there. Hopefully somebody left the, uh, the thing. Like the Thunder Spear, hopefully. Yeah, they left it. For some reason they left it, but here it is. So we're gonna grab that. Come on, there we go. So this is the, uh, the Thunder Spear right here. And we're gonna use it to deal damage to opponents. So some people are already fighting here. And we're gonna interrupt them with two consecutive shots. Oh my god, the lag, dude. Okay, let's reload. Let's do it again. There we go. That's one. And nice! We even got elimination. So uh, these shoot two, uh, like twice in a row, just like I said. So let me just test it out here. So one and two. And there it is. So yeah, just make sure you use this with the uh, like uh, on random opponents. Hopefully you find yourself you find yourself like a, a random noob or a random bot that you can use it on. And if you want to know where you can find these uh, thunder uh, thunder spears, you can find one here. You can find one in the basement of Amber Square, and you can find one right over here in this castle. So yeah, just find yourself one of these thunder spears. Deal two consecutive shots, and that shoot with the quest. It's as simple as that. For this week five seasonal quest, is that you have to uh, collect an item or weapon while sliding. So uh, let's say this is the weapon right here that we're going to use. We just jump off here. I'm just going to go towards this this hill. And I'm going to drop the item here. There we go. So that's the item. And I'm simply just going to slide. So you just run. Hold, hold left shift. Come on. <laughs> oh my god, the slag. I'm currently uploading so many videos. So sorry about the slag. And slide. And pick up. Make sure you spam E to pick up. And yeah, that's the basic idea. Just do that and the truth could be the quest. For this week 5 seasonal quest, it says you have to travel distance using the kinetic blade dash attack. So basically you just uh, find, uh, like come here and uh, find yourself the kinetic blade. So these are the kinetic blades. There's always two in these like dueling circles. So we're just gonna grab one. There we go. And then you simply just dash attack like this. With the right click. And that will travel like distance. You need to travel 500 distance in total. And uh, these are the locations for the kinetic blades if you want to grab one really, really easily. So just come to these dueling circles. This is one. 
this is two right here in case that one is uh, is like have been used uh, there's one right over here and one right over here and yeah that's pretty much it so just grab one and just you know keep dashing until you travel 500 meters and that's true pretty quest for this week five seasonal quests that you have to damage opponents with different types of shotguns so there's this shotgun right here the new uh, havoc pump shotgun there's this one right here the maven auto shotgun right here and the third shotgun which is the pump uh, not the pump the uh, the combat shotgun there's also a uh, another fourth shotgun that you can get which you can get from the augments it's called the charge the charge uh, shotgun but basically you just find these three right here they're very easy to find there's just you can find them inside like these locker uh, these hollow chests or inside random chests and then you simply just find an opponent and make sure you deal damage with this and damage with the next one and damage with the uh, third one and yeah, you don't need to kill them or anything, just make sure you hit them three times with three different shotguns, and that's true to complete the quest.